Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about Newton's first law, also called as the law of inertia. So what is inertia? So let's say I have this small wheel and I have this huge rock and this could have a mass of around 100 kilograms and this could have a mass of about 5 kilograms. So now, like if I want to move this, I can simply like, you know, give it a tiny push for it and it will move. Whereas even if I apply the same force on this rock, it's very hard for this to move. So in order for me to move this, I need to apply like a larger force. So that's basically, that's the concept of inertia. So what inertia states is, it's the natural tendency of, a, of every object to resist its change of state of motion. So what it means is, you have a huge, you have something with a greater mass. In order for you to change its state of motion, you need to apply a large amount of force. Whereas if you have something small, you only need a small amount of force. So that's why over here in this situation, where we, when we have something with a larger mass, we need to apply it more force as it has more inertia. And for something with a smaller mass, we need to apply it less force because it has less inertia. So when we talk about the Newton's first law, it states an object will not change its motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. If it is at rest, it will remain at rest. If it is in motion, it will remain in motion at constant velocity in a straight line. So let's say we have this wheel and there are no forces acting on this wheel. It's it, Then it remains at rest and let's say this wheel is moving the wheel is moving and uh, we don't apply any force on this wheel it will continue to move at constant velocity in a straight line so that's simply the newton's first law so let me tell explain you with another example so we'll consider this football and it's just there in the field and there are no forces acting on this football then it will continue to stay at rest but let's say the moment the player comes and hit the ball it starts moving because there was unbalancedness of the forces and it causes a resultant force which in return causes it to move so and once it starts moving if no forces are acting on this moving object it will continue to move at constant velocity in a straight line so obviously like in real world like it's really hard to demonstrate this because there will always be forces like yeah, resistance, drag, thrust, and gravity acting on objects. So that's the, that's the basic definition of Newton's first law and how Newton's first law and inertia are related. So in, for Newton's, for an object to, for this unbalancedness to occur, the inertia acted on the object should be equal to, like the force applied on the object should be equal to its inertia.